Lines, Squiggles, Letters, Words by Ruth Rocha, illustrated by Madalena Matoso. Pedro was often amazed by how funny the world is and how many things are in the world, by all the things we understand and all the things we don't. From his window and along the streets, Pedro saw all kinds of posters, billboards, and signs. He could understand some of what he saw, like the pictures of the tigers, apples, and roosters. But there were other pictures that Pedro didn't understand. like the little signs on each street corner. What's this a picture of, Mom? It's a street name, his mom would reply. Pedro looked and looked, but he didn't see a street name. All he saw was a bunch of drawings. One day, Pedro's mom told him, tomorrow you will be starting school. You will learn to read and you will understand many more things. What things, Mom? Pedro asked. Well, to begin with, the letters and numbers you were always asking about. The next morning, Pedro and his mother set out early for his first day of school. When they got to the corner, his mom said, the best way to get to school is on the bus. Which bus are we going to take, mom? Pedro asked. The one that will take you straight there. But how do you know which one that is? I look at the sign in the front. We want the one that says Rio Bonito. When the bus arrived, Pedro said, I don't see any Rio Bonito, and said he saw a sign with some drawings on it that looked like this. Pedro's mother smiled and they got on the bus. Pedro's teacher was tall with round glasses. She showed the children a big colorful poster. Do you recognize that letter? A is for apple, said the teacher. A is for apple, the children repeated. The teacher wrote a big A on the board. When Pedro left school, he had a big surprise. Suddenly, he saw that the signs, billboards, and shop windows all had his teacher's A. Everywhere Pedro looked, he caught sight of an A. He tugged at his mother's skirt. Look at all the A's on the wall. His mother laughed. You see all the A's? The A. Ah. At home, everything Pedro picked up had an A on it. His parents' newspaper, the laundry detergent, even a tube of toothpaste. The next day, Pedro's teacher put another poster on the wall. Do you recognize this letter? The letter D. It makes the sound D. D, 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 said the teacher. D, 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 the children recited. D is for day. D is for dice. D is for duck. D is for dog. The children repeated again and again. When Pedro left school, he looked at all the signs and the billboards. Among the other squiggles and lines, he saw the A's and the D's his teacher had made. Do you see all the A's and the D's? When Pedro got home, he ran to tell his dad, 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 guess what? When I'm at school, they paint the books, signs, and packages and walls with the letters I'm learning. His dad smiled. That's because you're learning how to see, Pedro. But I've always known how to see, Dad, ever since I was a baby. That's true, son. But now, through your letters, you're starting to understand more of what you see. Pedro scratched his head, wondering what his dad meant. But the miracle continued to happen. Each new letter Pedro learned appeared everywhere he went. On his way home from school every day, Pedro looked eagerly at everything around him. There were his letters popping out from signs, packages, buses, and poles. One day when Pedro was walking home, he looked again at the sign on the street where he lived. Putting together the letters he had learned, Pedro made out the name he already knew, 
Rua de Sol suddenly understood. Everyone I can read. The next day, when Pedro and his mom arrived at the corner, his mother said, pay attention so you don't miss the bus. Don't worry, mom, Pedro said. I'm not going to miss it because now I know how to read. When the bus arrived, Pedro hopped on and happily waved goodbye. Thank you for joining me.